What is going on, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? We're going to see what November holds for your love, your career, and finances, and a general message from the angels, as well as a message for my singles out here. However, if you have any Libras to Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, make sure you go check out those videos, as well as from Aries to Libra. Let's dive into this, but before we do, let me take a sip of water, because the energies are rough and intense, but beautiful. Ah, anyway, what's going on with y'all, my singles? If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Subscribe, turn post notifications on if you're returning. What's going down? You already know. We're switching it up, though. Let's go. Pisces, Sun, Rising, and Venus. What is coming towards you for November? What is going down? I don't know why that just... Guess what? The Hangman, baby. So, one more card before I go deep into the Hangman. Oh, page of one. Justice, though. Sheesh. Sheesh. Anyway, hold on. You had the hangman followed up with the page of one. So this can mean one of two of things here. The hangman is not a terrible card, okay? Some people think it's terrible. It's being the observer. Observer. Whoa. The observer of what's going down and seeing things from a clear perspective. So there might be little to no action being made with this person because you or this person makes making sure you don't want to make the wrong decision, waste each other's energy and time. And the justice card makes me ask, is this something karmic or a past person that's coming back into your life? Top deck, please, the king of wands. So definitely some type of karmic or past person kind of stepping in like, hey, what's going on, Pisces? And you're like, uh, no. Just saying. However, let's dig a little deeper. Ooh, too many cards. What's the hangman about? What's this hangman about, please? Let's get focused on the hangman. Ooh. The Nine of Cups. Whoa. Hmm. Death. Ooh, fuck. So, I am picking up on this, like, Pisces. I feel like some of y'all, some of y'all are definitely dealing with some past energy here. Uh, unfinished business that you're closing out. But you feel unsure because you feel and see two different things here. One, that they got the shit together, but it's just a facade. Second... Maybe this person is prepared and ready for commitment. Closing the, I mean, split the deck here. Queen of Swords. Yeah, definitely on the karma, but I don't think you're falling for the trap. Yeah, King of Swords too. You ain't fucking around, gang. You ain't fucking around. What's the spiritual advice? Yeah, man, this is intense. Woo! Queen of Wands. Oh shit! Eight of one. Eight of Pentacles came out. Definitely. I am so disconnected. I apologize, Pisces, but I, I was going through the signs for the readings. But this is something very intense and past related, kind of. I don't want to dive too deep into it, but if there's any resentment, anger, frustration, whether it's you or them, this relationship will not work out. It's going to be a repeating cycle that you know how it ends and you don't want to play that shit out no more. And... If you haven't healed from this person, that's probably why it's coming back up to the surface because of Scorpio season that all the skeletons in your closet are showing. I'm there with you. But have self-love, you know. It's a matter of deep conversations to the source, the divine yourself, and start making little changes day by day. Take steps forward, though. What's going on with your career and finances? Because sheesh, the energy... Queen of Cups. Woo! Ace of Cups. And the Four of Pentacles overall spiritual advice. Damn. The Hangman. You got both cups here. Damn. I feel like the Queen of Cups is like holding the divine gift that's been blessed and given to you from the divine. And the stability, security, financially, career-wise, definitely stepping into that road. But you do have... The hangman. You do have the hangman in. So you're definitely looking into a different perspective. Waiting to make some sort of major action. That's going to continue feeding you blessings and rewards. 
but also some of y'all have been observing things you know rather you're into business you're definitely trying to see what the next step is to hold and maintain especially during these times it's crazy and intense for all of us but i know businesses are experiencing that intense and having to pivot to make adjustments on how to continue you know even having a brand having a name having that source of income but overall energy oh the Knight of Wands here. So definitely some sort of direction going down. A lot of action and oh boy, oh boy. Uh, so many cards came out. But I'm going to say Temperance, Ten of Swords, Death card, The Hermit. So if they meant to come back out, they will. What's the outcome energy? Oh. Ooh. The Five of Cups as your outcome energy. And the Three of Wands. You're definitely not going to maintain and push through things, especially if you know it's not the right intention. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. That there's not the right intention here for you, that you feel, you know, you just feel like this is very heavy. You feel like you have no way out, and it's calling you to really look into the mirror in the world and realize your power and really persevere. Yeah, because you got divine gifts and blessings that are coming your way. Maybe you're just not looking at it. Maybe you're too sucked into how am I going to make this work and not really relaxing yourself. Come back together with source, with the divine, with your spirit guides, and realize you have everything right under your nose, right under your feet to maintain and persevere and step into some beautiful life-changing career and finances opportunity so i got for you on that these are very deep and intense but trying to get them out trying to get them out for y'all what's going on with my singles though what's going on with my single pisces something like the in venus was going down for november you getting your freak on you swimming in that ocean or that ocean killing you what's going on bam the ace of swords oh shit both of them came flying out. Shish. Shish. Hold on. You got the Ace of Swords, baby. And guess what? You got the Ace of Pentacles. And the Two of Wands. So I feel like for my singles, definitely, there's definitely a love offer being made here, but the Two of Wands are kind of looking at the Ace of Wands like, oh, now you're ready? Or kind of like, all right, how can we go about this? How can we make this something of true love of a solid secure foundation with each other and maintaining and elevating in our own individual life but also together so the spiritual advice here what's the spiritual advice the devil Ooh, hold up that card flow damn son damn son the devil and the six of swords so that two of wands how it's saying oh it's finally now you're making that long weighted love offer i feel like some of y'all with the devil card and the six of swords as a spiritual vice maybe there's not enough passion maybe you're not you know physically attractive to this person enough sexually spiritually and maybe it's just not enough to hold and maintain that relationship and that six of cords six of swords is telling you to walk away and then if you don't feel like that resonated you can take it as you will but that's the main message, but I want to try to meet you in the middle here and say that the devil card is that I, I can't work I can't work that way around. One last card. King of Wands. I don't know. When you pull, when I when I pulled the queen the King of Wands here, you know, just the facial expression like with the fucking post like, nah bitch you thought. <laughs> like nah bitch you thought I can't fool me. Shame on you once. Or twice, however that saying goes. But I, I was trying to meet you in the middle, but I just can't. Spirit's telling me no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Christ. I'm sorry. I just can't. And, you know, I hate to be that guy. But what is the message from the angel for you? What is coming in for the Pisces on the rising and Venus? What do the angels got to tell you? Understanding. Abundance. Healing. Shh. That's why it's so heavy right now for Pisces. Understanding, abundance, and 
healing, baby. So, you're definitely understanding the journey you've been on and it's causing you rather at this present moment, you know, not what you want or truly want to experience that abundance, but you need to do some healing. When you do some healing, that's when beautiful things can happen by default and by choice, though, on how you choose to navigate these times. However, you have purpose. Follow it up with prayer. So, once you come into this balanced state within yourself and realize your power, realize your potential, realize you're so fucking magical, you are a fish that's swimming in an ocean and you move well when you just let go of control. Let the water and the current push you where you need to go. Overall energy, put the deck here. Boom. Divine you. Your prayer. Everything is going to work itself out and step into more of who you truly are, an expression of that. And inner beliefs. It's all based on your inner beliefs, how you think, how you feel about yourself and overall with the world, where it's at, and how to move forward, but building that connection to yourself, the divine, the universe, and learning the power of that, of your subconscious, your your thoughts, your feelings, and some of y'all definitely got to let go of that control aspect. I don't, really, I don't know who needs to hear that, but let go of control deeply. Some of y'all needed to hear that. One last card from the angels, please, and we'll close this out. One last card, baby. The strength. Well, I don't even got to say nothing more than that. Pisces, have the strength, man. Or, you know, have the strength and courage. Move forward. I know you're being tested. We all are. But we will make it through by choice on what it is you choose to do. However, that is all I have for you, Pisces. Sorry for the little disconnect for Aquarius and Pisces. I did the rest of the signs today so I can get them out for you on Monday. However, I'll see y'all in the next one. Stay blessed as always. Later.